and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today, I'll be, and I know I've already done one of these platformer tutorial series, but I want to give you an in-depth explanation on how it works. So I'm going to be explaining how to make a platformer, but explain it so that you'll actually be able to understand how. Let's get right into it. So what we need to do first is let's get the cat just moving left and right. So go ahead and when green flag clicked to start it up, forever, just for the forever loop, and let's make some variables. X for the sprite only, and Y for the sprite only, and that is just what we're going to store our X and Y position in just so we don't have to keep setting our position. Next, at the beginning, you always want to set your variables to zero, or whatever number you want them to be. Then, inside the forever loop, if Add two of those, one for left, one for right. If key right pressed, and then if key left pressed. So now, if we press the right key, we're going to change X by three, and that will move us three to the right. As you can see here, this way is the positive, this is the negative. And then the inverse for left, change x by negative 3. Okay, good. Now if we run it, nothing happens when you try to move the arrows. Why is that? Let's show these variables. And man, that is why. Because we are not setting our position. Remember, we're only setting variables. So, and the reason it's going crazy is variables change very fast. But when you're setting the x and y position, it slows it down a bit. Go to x and y. And now if you run it, you see the cat will move when you move the arrows. Great, but he seems to not be obeying gravity. So let's try to fix that. So gravity, let's make use of this Y now. So gravity moves you down. So let's just right here, after we check, if we are pressing a key, change Y by negative one. Now if you run it, he'll fall. But that doesn't look right, does it? So to fix that, we're gonna use something called y velocity. Make a variable, y velocity, for this sprite only. And then, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it so that when he starts up here, he starts falling slowly and then it gets faster and faster. And that is like in real life. So instead of changing our y, we're gonna just change y velocity by negative 0.5. And then we're gonna change y by y velocity. And what that's gonna be doing is this is gonna keep going up. But this is going to keep going down as this goes it, but it's going to go faster and faster. So if we run it now, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? But you see, he's still going faster and faster even after we start the project. Well, that's because we need to always set our variables to zero. So set y velocity to zero. And now that is fixed. Nice. But now we kind of need a platform or else it's not really a platformer, is it? So make a new sprite, you can paint it. I'm just gonna do a line just for now, just for testing. And then you can move it to where you want it, call it platform. And then go back to the cat. And so now if we run it, he just goes right through it. And that's not quite what we want. So in order to fix that, we need to check if he's touching the platform while he's going down. So right after we do this, go ahead and put the go to x, y below the if else, add an if else, if touching platform, then we're going to want to change y. And what we need to do, so when we're going down, if we run into the ground, we wanna go, we wanna stay there but our y velocity is still increasing, so we're gonna keep going down. But if we change our y, if we touch this by our y, y velocity opposite of that, we'll stay still. So to do that, go to operators, the multiply block, negative one. So change y by y velocity times negative one. Now, if we run this, we stay, but that doesn't quite look right, does it? 
And that is because our y velocity is still going up. So set y velocity to zero. There's that. Now for our to walk, it works. There's that. But what about jumping? That's kind of important. Yes, it is. It's quite important. But I'll cover that in the next video because I don't have many ideas and it's nice to be able to stretch a video series out. If you have any ideas, please comment them down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.